How big are your ice cubes? How big are your ice cubes? That's a personal question. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. <laughs>Hey guys, welcome to Stir Crazy. I've known my guest today since we went to high school at Forks. She's gone on to become one of our finest actors. Her new film is the holiday comedy, Happiest Season. It's Kristen Stewart. Hi, how's it going? So first of all, major belated happy birthday, but I feel like it's worth mentioning because it was a big one. Yeah, it was. Did 30 feel especially meaningful for you? It does. I really <laughs> feel it. Every bone aches, every... <laughs> yeah. Huh. Yeah, my knees. As you know, I have a couple of silly challenges for you. As an actor, as a consummate actor, you're used to cold reads. This is really cold reads. We're going to load up our mouths with ice cubes one at a time, and we're going to try to communicate an iconic piece of film dialogue to the other. Now, the size of the ice cube is a big part of this. What, how big are your ice cubes? How big are your ice cubes? That's a personal question. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> well, yours are pretty big, too. <laughs> but your thumb is abnormally large, so it's all yeah, I need it's a all fucked up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a cotton, cotton headed ninny mug. Oh, elf! I'm a cotton headed ninny mug something. How's it? Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. Oh. Hold on. <laughs> I wish I knew. <laughs> I wish I knew how to quit you. <laughs> oh, was that broke back? I wish I knew how to quit you. Good movie choices. Gay Christmas. Okay. You better hold on tight, Spider Monkey. I don't know. Wait, can you say that one more time? You better hold on tight, Spider Monkey. I just wanted it again because I knew it might be the very last time that I was <laughs> really receiving that one. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> Until the reboot. Yeah. You got that, just to clarify. Yes, to be late. <laughs> yeah. All right, I won't torture you anymore on that front. Uh, but I will congratulate you. I was telling you before, Happiest Season uh, is a delight. This is like a warm blanket. This is like one of those classic holiday movies. I love these kind of movies. In the romantic comedy holiday movie, do you have like a, a North Star? What was yours? Every time someone asks me like what my favorite rom-com is, I immediately just go when Harry met Sally because it's the the one. That is a good one. That is acceptable. I mean, and it's a holiday movie. It ends at New Year's. Is it a holiday movie? Just because well, it's it ends at New, New Year's. Let me see if how well you know your co-stars with these extreme close-up photos. It looks like a color that Mary Holland would wear. Like her character would wear like a pink lip. I think it's Mary Holland. Oh, if it's not, wait. It's not? Okay, wait, hold on. Because it's Alison Brie. It's Mackenzie? Oh, God. You're, now you're just embarrassing yourself. I so. guess so. I really wanted to be good at this, like, badly. <laughs> wow. Okay, so, hey, question. This is not in the movie. No, these are not still okay. from the movie. That's good to know. Okay, well, I thought it was going to be in the movie, which is why I was like... Okay. Her character, Riley, would never wear pink lipstick. Now that I know the rules of the game, I think I'm going to be better. Okay, let's go to the next one, then. That's Mackenzie. Your confidence about that. What body part is it? It's the side of her mouth. It's the well, side dog, of her mouth? Your dog agrees. You are correct. That is the side oh. of Mackenzie Davis's mouth. Well done. Yeah, I like her. <laughs> I like this game. Well, you're, you're, you're arguably pretty... What's, what's happening? Are you casting a spell on me? No, I'm trying to be observant. Oh, okay. I see. <laughs> well, it's funny because he even looks like his dad in this zoomed up close up of his eyebrow. <laughs> That's the, the levy jeans right there. He can't avoid it. It really is. They're strong. They're strong. They're handsome. He's they a really, like, look at that guy. That's a dreamboat. That's a dreamboat eyebrow. Whoa. This is Whoa. like, this is like some portrait of lady on fire stuff right here. <laughs> what, what does that mean? Well, she like puts the finger in the armpit and you think it's not an armpit and you're like, oh my God, what am I? Oh, okay. <laughs> um, this is an uncomfortable picture. That makes you uncomfortable? What does that say about you? Well, it looks like a sensitive area. <laughs> like, it just looks like you're really close to a really sensitive area. And that's not comfortable, per se, unless, I don't know what you're into, but... Um, <laughs> no judgments, yeah. Is it Allison Brie? She's wearing, like, a tube toppy weird thing. She's the only one that would wear a shirt like that. <laughs> oh, no! She's precious, and she's cute, and she'd wear, like, a little off-the-shoulder shirt. See, I told you I could be good at this game. 
it just took you a little warming up. Okay, last yeah. one. Finish strong. You've, you've really made some strides. You didn't tell me all the rules. It's not fair. Okay. Wow, that was a really good one. <laughs> You're very proud of yourself. Very self congratulatory. <laughs> You're like, wow, I killed it there, guys. God, I'm amazing. <laughs> wow, that's hard. Uh, who is this? Body part, person, anything? Is that me? Wow. Oh, oh, dude, I can see like slight, I have like bags under my eyes. I'm like, well, that's already basically looks like a shiner. <laughs> and I have this one hair right here that I'm always trying to like, be like, wait, don't forget to get that one. You talked a big game and you- you Lasers. <laughs> there are like a hundred Hallmark holiday movies every year. You tell me if this is a real one or one I made up. Single Santa Seeks Mrs. Claus. Fake. That's a real one. Christmas at Dollywood. Real. Yeah. I mean, yeah. that's a no that's, I, They haven't made that yet. A Shoe Addict's Christmas. Sounds real. It is But real. it's not. No, oh. it is real. <laughs> Sadly, <laughs> it is real. <laughs> what about the case of the missing mistletoe? The missing mistletoe. Um. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like an army device. It sounds like some kind of a uh, I don't think it's, I think it's fake. It is fake. I made that one up. The night after the night before Christmas. I think it sounds real. I made that one up. Okay, it's one. a good one. Well, technically the night after the night before Christmas is just Christmas. So it's really the stupidest title ever made. Yeah, but it's funny. It's cute. Okay, okay. Santa learns to read. I could see that being like a, hmm. Santa's an adult. <laughs> like how you came, Santa's you're halfway there and then you're like, wait a second. I think that's fake. <laughs> that is fake. Last one, North Pole Dancer. Are you I, like, What are you doing? I'm holding, I'm playing with okay, this thing. Okay, 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 Sorry. I got, I got really, really angry, thinking. sorry. <laughs> I think you made that up and that it's brilliant and that it's funny as hell Aww. and that it's fake. Not only are you correct, but you flattered me in the process. That's a win-win. I knew it, yeah, I knew it. <laughs> We do go way back. We obviously started way back in, in the days of Forks and, and the Twilight days. And I remember back then we always talked about how the names became so popular. Bella and Edward and all those names were like the most popular baby names at the time. Do you meet like kids that are now like 12 years old that were named after your character back then? I've wondered. I definitely have been like, hmm, but then I've been like, you are self-obsessed. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how many people <laughs> named their children after me. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I think Stephanie and I would have something to say about that. that that's true. Fair enough. You're a collaborator. All right, I'm going to wrap it up and let you release you to the, the, the wild with a few really stupid would you rather questions. I'm really good at this. I don't fall into like gaping holes of treacherous thought when we do this. Okay, quick fire. <laughs> Yeah. Anytime anything's quick fire, yeah. I'm like. <gasps> <laughs> no, we have, a, we, we have three hours for this. You can really fall into those, some ho deep holes. Would you okay. rather never have to audition again or never see another paparazzi again? I would audition every day for the rest of my life if I didn't have to see another paparazzi. Yeah. <laughs> That's an easy one. Would you rather be three feet taller or three feet shorter? Shorter. Really? You're going to be a little wee, little wee Kristen. Well, how tall am I? Am I the same proportionally? Yeah, you're the same proportionally, yeah. Smaller. Oh my God. Dude, okay. I like run around and do wild shit. <laughs> Either way, it's going to be hard. So I would go smaller because I could, it'd be easier to travel. I could get fit in a carrier case. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's, in, what's in your carrier case, sir? Oh, that's just a little Kristen Stewart. Don't, don't, don't mind me. <laughs> would you rather have Trump tweet about you every day the rest of your life or never pet a dog again? He can do whatever the fuck he wants, uh, as long as I don't have to, I don't know, man. I love my dog and this is a triggering question. <laughs> Sorry, I don't want to end on a bad note. Let's not end on a bad note. This is the Dakota Johnson memorial question. She posed this to me on a previous episode. Would you memorial. rather have a, well, not, she's still around, but. This I was is like, in, what has happened? Okay. <laughs> you haven't seen the news, no. This is in honor of Dakota and her brilliance. Would you rather okay. have a mouthful of bees or one bee in your butt? I would rather have one bee in my butt. <laughs> is that like a flirtatious thing? What just happened? No, I was embarrassed. I'm like, you're asking me risky questions, but I'm not going to lean away. I'm going to lean in and I'm going to say I'd rather have one little, you know. Little, little guy. Yeah, just a little buzzy. Little might not be that bad. And then, a, but like, think about like a mouthful of bees. You yeah. wouldn't survive that. I wouldn't. I'm so sense. I'm such a little bitch. I would not recover from that. <laughs> <laughs> Good to know. I won't gift you for your 31st birthday a giant hive of bees. Don't worry. Um, <laughs> okay, <cool. laughs>